Today is finally the day that we get to go on our river cruise. We tried to go on one three times before, but it never worked out. Today is finally the day. We're going on a seven hour journey. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. So today we are exploring the Kai Rang floating market here in Canto, Vietnam. Yes, on the south side in the Mekong Delta. It's, oh. Zach is just too excited to explain into words. <laughs> Like, I don't think you understand. I couldn't even sleep last night. Like, the power did go out and the dogs were barking all night. But before that happened, I couldn't even sleep. So we have like... We physically couldn't sleep. Three hours of sleep. Because of all the noises. And we mentally couldn't sleep because we were so excited. <laughs> so now we're headed toward the river to meet our boat driver. Mm -hmm. It's about a 15 minute walk from our hotel. We're on our way. We're covered in sunscreen. We're ready it's for the day. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it feels amazing outside. It's 75. It's going to be awesome. To our boat. We didn't give anyone like a picture of us or a name or anything. We didn't get anyone's name and yeah. they were like Amazon House. Amazon we like, One. We're like, yeah. yeah. She is so tired. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad we're not on that boat. It's just like a bus full of people with life jackets. So many tourists, no personality. <laughs> Only it just reminded me we have no life jackets. <laughs> After a what 40 minute yeah. private tour of the river, we had it all to ourselves. It was amazing. That early in the morning, have we made it to the floating market? I think we're here. There are boats everywhere. They have their products showed like on top of their boats, so you can see what they're selling. It's kind of hard to see from this like level. We are like low down. We are low. And there's a bunch of boats here. There's a ton of people here. literally drank evaporated milk. No, no. <laughs> it's like the strongest coffee I have ever had. Compared to like the sweetest <laughs> condensed milk. have to wonder, is the water from the river? No! Is it boiled? Oh my god. 
the biggest boat we've seen on the water so far is carrying rice. <laughs> that looks like all rice. It's like three stories tall. So we are getting gas now, but I just want to talk about the morning market. It was so peaceful and it was a lot less hectic than I thought it would be, maybe because we woke up so early. Yeah. Some people leave at 7 and get there at like 8 or 9 and I don't think... I mean there was a lot of activity, but it was like sleepy activity. Yeah. You know, like we got, like we, we got on the river before the sun even rose. And there was a lot of people trading, like so many pineapples, like so many onions, so many potatoes, like piling up their boats. With goods. Like, it was crazy. Like the boats looked like they were sinking. Like they were filled so much. But it was really nice. And we got coffee and some soup. And the ladies that helped us were just like so happy yeah. that we were there. I can't believe we just did it. I think it's something we're gonna remember forever. Yeah, definitely. I'm thinking we just got dropped off at the noodle factory. But we're not sure. It just looks like a place where you buy things. But no one said anything to us yet. Super love warrior. So they ladle the noodle mixture onto this canvas that has a fire underneath it being fueled by rice. And then they let it like dry in the sun. And then once it's dry, they put it through the thing that cuts it. That's a little pup. That's a little pup. Okay, so he bought a pineapple and we were thinking he was like carving it for a while. We didn't know why he was carving it for himself. And then he just hands us this pineapple. Oh, please. It's the biggest lollipop I've ever seen. Yeah, it's very small. Very small. We didn't buy anything. Well, I, I we saw a lot of fruit being traded and a lot of yeah, good things cut. Went around and it was amazing. And, and our look, driver knows everybody. Yeah, <laughs> like everybody. Our captain. Our captain. Our peaceful back here. It's a lot less trafficy. Yes. More intimate with the houses and how people actually live. There's small cafes, people washing dishes right off the back. It's just so like amazing. I, this is more than I ever thought we would do in Vietnam. I didn't think that it would be this cool yeah. or that we could get something like this. The, the trip is just so ser serene and scenic. Ugh. able to go on a seven hour journey to the market, through another the canals, market. to another, another market. Yeah, Our driver market. gave us pineapple, which I don't think was included. And we even saw a noodle factory, which I thought was cooler than expected. And it cost us $20 total. It just, it doesn't feel like you just couldn't, be doing this. You couldn't be able to do this anywhere else. You know, like we're on our own boat, we have our own driver. He's giving us our own experience. And this is just absolutely wonderful. Okay, when I first saw these little floating leaves, I thought it was just debris from a storm. We were in Ho Chi Minh City, and it was by the river, and I thought that it just washed up on shore. And now I'm coming to realize they just grow somewhere up the river, and they float down the river and get bigger and bigger and bigger until I guess they get to the ocean. And now he's taking us through this shallow water. He's gotta like make sure the propeller goes up enough so it doesn't hit one the ground and two all this greenery. Now we've gotten off the boat. We're supposed to be walking, but I don't know where. I think that it got too shallow. And yeah, and Zach's too heavy. 
As always, if you haven't seen the broken chair one, this literally had the whole restaurant laughing at me and everyone just stared at me as I walked out. We'll insert the card right here. You should watch that video. <laughs> so he told us to walk a little bit and he's gonna pick us up. We think. The jungle. There's our boat. Cool, like going by all these people's houses, through the banana fields. I don't even know what these other trees are. I think they're like peaches or something. Uh oh, now we seem to be lost. There was a fork in the road and we don't know which way our guy took. <laughs> there's a bridge that went over towards another canal and then there's one that you just kept following and we don't know if we took the right one. So I guess we're just gonna have to find our person or he's gonna have to find us or we might be just lost. Yeah. Okay, we're thinking we're on the right track because we hear all these boats. But I don't know. We still have not found our person. But we found his friend who we've been talking to a little bit. <coughs> oh. oh, we found him. There he is. How are we gonna get in this boat? I don't know. are the trees that I don't know what they are. So if you know or can tell me, please comment and tell me. Back home. That is it. That was amazing. The ride back was like an hour and it was so peaceful. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? You said you felt like you were just in a daze. I was in a daze, yeah. you know? I had to pinch myself like four times. Right. Like, I, like my mind was just wandering because it was just, I'm so relaxed and it's so nice to be on the water. Like a different means of transportation. Mm -hmm. And this is like our main event for the day and it's just like, I was so at peace with everything. We just could not have imagined a more fun and exciting and adventurous trip in Kanto. I mean, we knew it was gonna be good, but like that was incredible. We got coffee, we got soup, we got fruit. We didn't even ask for it. Our driver was so nice. He accommodated us well. Uh -huh. You know, we were able to communicate even though there was a complete language barrier. At the end, I said gam un, which is the only one of two words I know in Vietnamese, which is thank you. And it was just really, really, yeah, really we nice. We got to walk through the rice the part. Like, that was amazing, where they brought all the stuff. I, I wanted to go there, but I didn't know how to get there. Yeah. I thought you had to, like, rent a motorcycle, but you got there by boat. Is it locked now? No, it's not locked. Locked from the outside. I did. Try it again. You didn't close it all the way. You still you never closed it all the way. <laughs> 